I'm going to show you how you can install the remote server administration tools, otherwise known as RSAT, on Windows 11. These tools will let you manage Windows servers and Active Directory without having to actually log on to the server, and you can do it directly from your Windows 11 client. So to start, I'm going to press the Start menu and go to Settings, and then open the Settings app. In here, on the left-hand side, we can come to Apps, and then Optional Features, and then View Features, and then we can search for RSAT. This will list all of the available RSAT tools. In this example, I'm just going to install the Active Directory Domain Services and Lightweight Directory Services tools. So if we tick that, we'll also see that it has a dependency of the RSAT Server Manager, and it will automatically install that for us as well. So we can just press next, and then it will tell us what we've got selected to install. And then we can just press install to install the feature. This can take a couple of minutes to actually download and install. Now you may get an error when trying to install some of the RSAT tools because it uses the Windows Update Service to actually download the tools. If you've got Windows Server Update Services set up on your network, you might get an error with this if you haven't got the group policy option for downloading additional features directly from the Windows Update rather than the Windows Server Update Services server. Now to get around that, I will link a command you can run in the description, which will just temporarily bypass the Windows Server Update server and download them directly from Windows Update. Now that that's shown as installed, all we need to do is come back to the start menu and then we can either go to all apps and then scroll down and find server manager or you can just search for server manager and run that. And then it will look like a standard Windows Server server manager and you can just come to tools and then load any of the tools. Or if you press the start menu, you can directly run Active Directory users and computers. So I just close these. So if we search for Active Directory, it will take you directly to the Active Directory users and computers snapping. And then you can manage your Active Directory as you would if you're logged on to a domain controller. Now I've just installed that using the uh, settings GUI. Now we can also do the exact same thing installing them through PowerShell. So if we run a PowerShell and then run the following command, which is the get windows capability dash name, and then anything starting with RSAT, I'll link this command in the description so you can just paste it in. This will give us all of the available tools and if they are installed or not. So we can see we've got server manager is installed as well as the Active Directory Domain Services and Lightweight Directory Services tools. So if we want to actually install one of these applications using PowerShell, what we need is this name here. So if we, for instance, if we want to install the DHCP server tools, what we can do is run get Windows capability against the name, the rsat.dhcp tools, and then dash online, and then the add Windows capability, and when we run this, it will do the exact same thing as it done before. And it even adds it to this um, optional features console. So you can actually say installing, but it's just initiated using PowerShell. So this will go through and install the feature exactly the same as before. And now that's installed and we can either access it through server manager or just type DHCP into the search bar. And then it will open up the DHCP console. And then for some of the snappings, what you'll have to do is go to add server because by default it will try to look at the local machine which is obviously the Windows 11 machine so if we come to action and then add server it will either pick up any servers that are relevant to the snapping that you're in or you can just type in the server name and then press ok and then it will let you manage it just like you were if you are on the actual server so we can see our pool address leases and reservation there aren't actually any on this server but it's just an example now just something to bear in mind is just because you have got the tools now installed it doesn't mean that the user account you're logged into can actually administer the services so what it will do is whoever you are logged in is whoever you are logged in as so i'm logged in as the um, domain administrator so this user account has permission to administer the domain and administer the DHCP and any other services on the network. 
But if you're logged in as a standard user, it might let you open the Active Directory users and computers. But when you come to a manager user, it will all be grayed out and it won't like it won't actually let you change anything. The same with DHCP, you can't actually do anything unless you've got the specific permissions on the network to actually administer those services. So just because you've got them installed, it doesn't mean you can actually use them in a sense. That's just something to bear in mind. So there we go. That is how you can install the remote server administration tools.